Hi everyone, and welcome to another tree plotter inventory tutorial. In this video, we will be talking about work orders. Let's get started. Start by making sure you're looking at the work orders layer by verifying that in the legend. Once you're all set there, the easiest way to create a new work order is to click the add button on the upper right hand corner. Zoom into the area on the map where you would like to place this work order and click on the map. You can also use the search address tool if needed. This will open up a new window with the work order details form. If you have park amenities, playground, or other databases, you will first need to select the layer. For this example, we will be using trees so the layer dropdown won't show up. Fill out as much of this form as applicable to your work order. Don't forget to update the status and assign two fields. If there is a service request associated with this work order, you will see a new tab and relevant information here. Next, go to the work records tab at the very top. This is where you can link the assets and work to be completed on specific trees. Click on link and you may now select the appropriate tree or trees. This will create new blank work records, or if a work record exists for the asset, the linking step will bring the work record into the work order. Keep in mind that all the fields on this work record are editable and can be updated by simply clicking on the field you wish to modify. If you would like to update multiple records at once, Simply use the Mass Update tool by clicking the Update button and selecting the fields and values to apply to all records. Note that you can check specific work records or leave them all in check to update work records in the work order. Next, click on the Tracking tab. Anytime the Status or Assigned To fields get updated, those changes will appear here. If needed, you can add notes here as well. Let's take a look at the printing emailing options next. You have the option to truly customize this document by including work order photos, any asset photos you may have, tracking information from service requests or work orders, and even a map of the area. If emailing the work order, add the recipient's email here. You can also have the option to add labels to the map if you'd like. This might be helpful if you wanted to display the tree ID on the map, for example. When you're ready, hit submit. This will print and or email the work order, including hyperlinks. The last thing I will be covering in this video is how to close out a work order once the work has been completed. Back in the work order details form, click the close out tab. Notice that here you can update the status to complete and archive the work order, individual work records, and even an associated service request. If you archive these records, they will no longer display on your map, but you can always use the advanced filter to view these records at a later time. If you need to send an email out to notify others about this job being completed, you can do so as well by checking this box. Add a completed date and some notes if needed, and hit submit. To manage your work orders, remember that you can also search for them in the advanced filter and data table. And there are many great reports in the hub as well. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more training videos coming soon.